Now, the plan for the video today was to do it outside by the lake over here, but due to the gusting winds, you'd never hear us. So, we're gonna have to move it in to Maggie. <laughs> we'll see you there. Not we didn't hear it all. No, not at all. <laughs> <laughs> Never ceases to uh, fail. Every time Cheryl and I try to go outside to film something, like, you know, to talk, like, from the picnic table or whatever, as soon as Mother Nature sees us walk out, she's like, you two should just turn around and go back in. <laughs> but that's not what we're here for today. Today's video is because we were challenged. <laughs> from our friend Tim over at Tim Rover. <laughs> Hi, Tim. What's going on, Tim? So... There are 10 questions about our being, and we are going to sit here and answer them for you. Let's jump right into All it. All right. Number one, what would you change in your RV? <laughs> um, I yeah. think we can both agree. Yeah. The on-demand hot water heater. Yep. Now, those of you who have been following us for a while know that there was a point I couldn't stand that thing. It's gotten to the point where I'm accepting of it, but I would really, really like that gone <laughs> and my at would back. Or I'd even take a Suburban. Yep, yep. Uh, it's just when you shut the water off, it takes so long for it to come back on again to get hot. It's mm -hmm. just It just seems a little overly done. Now, I know that there are newer types out there that are supposedly better. Um, I'd still rather have an Atwood. I think it needs a water tank. Yes, yep. <laughs> Maybe I'm just old school. Question number two is, what is something that you didn't expect in your RV? The Maceator. <laughs> Macerator. Poop grinder. I never say it right, so it's just poop grinder. When we when we found out that Maggie came with a poop grinder, we didn't even know what it was. So, you know, we went out, we researched online, and I'm just like, well, that just seems kind of disgusting. <laughs> but when we got Maggie, we're like, you know what? Let's try it at least once just to say that we used it, and then we can let people know what we think about it. I love my poop grinder. <laughs> Our stinky slinky is still in the box. Yep, brand new, never used. We used it the one time, and it was so great, that's all we've used in the last three years. Number three, deciding factor in finding your RV. We had pretty much decided that we were going to go with Jayco anyway, because our last RV was a Jayco. But and we did look at a couple of other manufacturers. Yep, yep. Um, Bounder came really, really close. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, By Fleetwood. George, Georgetown. Yeah, and the Georgetown XL. But we ended up sticking with Jayco, like last time. Jayco seemed to have more bang for the buck in the price range. Their convenience package had more stuff. Yeah. In. So then it, at the time. <laughs> yeah. So then it came down to, well, what size? And we knew the 29 would be too small. So we started looking at the 31 UL. And it just seemed... It still seemed a little seemed small. Seemed a little small. I mean, you got to remember, our Class C was almost 30, 30 feet. So it's like a foot longer. Of we, course, weren't, we weren't thrilled with where the slides were. Yep, yeah. I'm not a big fan for having a slide up front on the passenger side. So when you open up the door, there's a slide right there. That's just our personal opinion. <laughs> I mean, 31 UL is a, is a good selling um, RV. But so anyway, it was between that and, well, a 35S, which is what Maggie is. You kept coming back to this one and saying, it's just so big. It's just so big. It's, it's just, it, it, and it is. It's still too big. There was something in the middle. Yeah, yeah. We, well, if we could have had a 33-foot, if Jayco would come out with a 33-footer, which I think they have now, <laughs> that's what we would have ended up buying. But when it, when the final decision came down was we felt that we would go with the 35S because we knew we were going to start full-time and, and figured it would be better to grow into the 35S. Than out of the 31. Yeah, so that's um, that that's how our decision came. Number four. Favorite meal to cook at camp? I think my favorite thing to cook is pulled chicken in mm -hmm. the Instant Pot mm -hmm. because it's so easy. It is so tasty. And, I mean, it's the same with pulled pork, but pulled chicken's just a little healthier. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And and you know what? I'll take either. <laughs> yeah. And his favorite is the barbecue ribs yeah, in heart, the Instant Pot. My heart they, is still. <laughs> they fall right off the bone. They're awesome. I will not order ribs in any restaurant ever since Cheryl figured out how to do them in the Instant Pot. Every single time that's on the, the, they're, they're on the plate, just grab the bone, and the bone just comes right out. There's no meat on the bone whatsoever. Oh, God, and just delicious. I just, I'm going to go eat. 
<laughs> Number five, RV destination you want to go to. Just about everyone we've talked to has the same destination on, on their bucket list. And we're no different. Alaska. <laughs> Why don't you go up there and see some of the animals? And the, because they got grizzlies up there, right? We we've never seen a grizzly. We're from New Hampshire. Seen plenty of black bear, never a grizzly. And we will not film a grizzly as close as we have done black bears. <laughs> I may look into another zoom. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, we also want to see the northern lights up there. Definitely. Favorite thing about our being? Um, I'd say traveling and see new places and things and people and meeting new friends. Yeah, and that's the. It, being part of Thousand Trails now, the, the new friends part, um, we are seeing people from campground to campground. When we were in Sturbridge, our neighbors who were in Sturbridge, uh, Rob and Lisa, you guys are watching, hey, what's up? They ended up pulling up next to us here where we are now in North Carolina. <laughs> side by side, we were checking in. It was just... This is the third campground we've been at with them. Yeah. Uh, actually, one of our friends, Gene, has called the uh, the East Coast, it, what did she call it? This the Thousand, the Thousand Trails uh, Corridor. <laughs> we're going down south in the winter. And we're just running into so many people that we've met in other campgrounds. It's really cool. And We um, look forward to meeting them again. Yeah, we do. Number seven, least favorite thing about RVing. Well, I'd have to say it's setting up and breaking down and worrying about whether the slides are going to come in, <laughs> the levelers are going to come up, what? Are you kidding me? You've <laughs> never worried about a thing in your life. She's talking about me. <laughs> I worry for him too. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, I don't know, you, just, you know, getting here is one thing, but when you're leaving, it's just, well, I hope everything's coming in and I hope the levelers go up. We had an issue with our backslide. It got to, what, three inches? And it the, wouldn't come in any further. It wouldn't come in any further, so uh, we, we had to help it. Yeah, we, we ended up helping it, and then we just ended up resyncing that slide. It's one of those smooth swin tech. So supposedly they get out of whack a lot, but it's just I'm looking, going, oh, how's this gonna look going down the highway? <laughs> <laughs> Number eight, favorite beverage. Well, mine is wine. Um, I'm a cheap date. I like it in a box. <laughs> Peter Vella. <laughs> and I also flip flop between tea and Diet Coke depending upon how cold it is, how hot it is, or whatever like that. What about you, babe? <laughs> I guess I'm a cheap date too. I like Bud Light. <laughs> but I also drink a lot of Diet Coke. Now, you know, occasionally I like Powerade, especially if it's been hot and we've been out working or, or working. <laughs> what is working? I don't know. <laughs> We've just been out walking around or, or, or doing an adventure or whatever. Uh, but we also drink a lot of water. Which is Brandy's favorite drink. <laughs> <laughs> Number nine, must-haves on your next RV. I'm going to say an oven. I miss my oven. Yeah, um, people say Charlotte is the only one who ever used a, an RV oven. Most people have never even opened theirs except to put, use it for storage. <laughs> yeah, I know, but I used to make brownies and cookies and pizza. Pizza is just so much better in the oven than it is the convection microwave. I just, I can't, I don't get it. Um, <laughs> well said, honey. <laughs> uh, the second thing is the washer and dryer. I gotta have the washer and dryer. If it doesn't come with it, we need to install it. Sorry, yep. babe. No, no, that's okay. I'm gonna have plenty of experience drawing four inch holes through RV wall, I guess. <laughs> now, for me, my must have come on, if you've been following along, poop grinder. Gotta have one. Macerator. Call it what you will. <laughs> uh, also, if it doesn't have reclining love seats that are decent, then we will rip that sofa out and put this in. Again, this is from another question. But the difference here is I'd like to get rid of the dinette. We don't use it. Hmm. But I don't want to give up the whole dinner thing, you know, place to eat dinner. Just in case. So what we would really like, or I would really like, I should say, is a freestanding dinette. Dinette? Dinette. Dinette, yeah. With the uh, credenza. That yes, would be that nice. that would be nice. Number 10, favorite RV accessory. I'm going to go with cooking, and I'm going to say the Instant Pot and the Coleman Grill because I like to cook fish, and I don't like to have the fishy smell linger in the RV. Yeah, I don't like that either. <laughs> Mine's quick and simple. It's a magna shade. I love the ability to see out, knowing no one can see back in during the day. It just makes the RV seem bigger than it is. That's a good one. Yeah. So, I have one more question for Cheryl. What's your favorite stuffed animal? Because in case y'all haven't noticed, we've had a herd moving in here. <laughs> well, we didn't get to do our clips outside in the campground, and so I gave them all something to look at. Oh, there you go. <laughs> campground wildlife. <laughs> 
All right, that's going to bring the 10 slash 11 questions from us to a close. Now is our turn to challenge people. We'd like to challenge our good friends Bob and Pearl over there next exit. And our friends Joe and Rhonda from our Being with the Maracas. You've been challenged. Now, if you like what you saw, we appreciate that thumbs up as always. You want to become part of the Grow and Get Gone with us gang? Right down there in the corner. Just click there and you're in. If you have any questions or comments, you can put them right down below. Or you could just say hi. Because we'll say hi back. We always do. Till our next video, I'm Chuck. And I'm Cheryl. We'll get gone with us. Bye. Bye.